Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Kathy Gashin, and I am honored to serve as the principal for Plano ISD Academy High School. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate Plano ISD Academy High School's eighth graduating class. Our graduates, the Academy High School class of 2023, will now enter the auditorium. Our accompanist, Jim Wilson, will play Pomp and Circumstance for the procession. Please stay seated during this time so all guests are able to see all graduates processing into the auditorium.
You guys can go ahead and sit. <clears throat> so welcome, Plano ISD Academy High School, class of 2023. To open our ceremony, I now invite five of our seniors to the stage who will lead us in the posting of colors, the US and Texas pledges, and the national anthem. Join me in welcoming to the stage, Ryan Guthrie, Lucas Herrera, Peyton Leesk, Christopher Newton, William Steen, and Brian Winandi. Color Guard, attention. Would the audience please rise? Color Guard, advance. Color Guard, halt. Color Guard, prepare to post the colors. Color Guard, post the colors of the United States of America. Color Guard, post the colors of the great state of Texas. Will you please take off any non-religious headgear and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will you please join me in the Pledge of Texas Flag? Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare. Bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? The land of the free. And the hope of the brave. Color Guard Reform. Color Guard Return to Post. Color guard at ease, you may now be seated. Thank you, Ryan, Peyton, Christopher, William, Brian, and Lucas. At this time, I would like to recognize distinguished guests that have joined us for this ceremony, Plano ISD's 2022-2023 Board of Trustees, as well as the Plano ISD Superintendent and her cabinet. Please stand and be recognized when I announce your name. 
representing the Plano ISD Board of Trustees, Nancy Humphrey, Vice President and newly elected Board President for the 2023-2024 year. <laughs> Jerry Chambers, Secretary. <laughs> Dr. Lauren Tyra, Trustee, trustee and newly elected, elected Vice President. President. And newly elected board members joining us include Catherine Goodwin and Tara Lance. Superintendent Dr. Teresa Williams, Dr. Celinda Anderson, Deputy Superintendent for Leadership and Operations. Johnny Hill, Deputy Superintendent for Business and Employee Services. Lisa Wilson, Deputy Superintendent for Teaching, Learning, and Life Readiness. Jed Reed, Assistant Superintendent for Employee Services. Leslie Range Stanton, Chief Communications Officer. Patrick Tanner, Assistant Superintendent for Technology Services. And Steve Ewing, Executive Director, School Leadership and Innovation Secondary. On behalf of the Academy High School community, please join me in recognizing these leaders for their continuous and unfailing support of our campus. Thank you so much. Continuing with recognitions, I would now turn to our audience and I'd ask for our Academy High School staff to please stand. <laughs> Facilitators and staff, each of you is a representation of the best that education has to offer, and it's your perseverance and dedication to our space that makes the AHS learning experience so unique. Thank you for your expertise, your time, and your genuine care for learners, for each other, and for our school community. You're special educators, and we are so grateful for you. So we have long said at Academy that our learners are the best at telling our story and the things that make our learning environment so special. Fourth year learners interested in speaking at this ceremony were asked to respond to a prompt, what does Academy High School mean to me? We will now hear from two members of the 2023 graduating class who did a fantastic job of articulating their experiences at Academy and the nature of our space. Please welcome Ali Al Rubai and Corey Tatel. fellow graduates, friends, families, and teachers, we did it. We have finally finished our four years at the Academy. We are done. I initially came to the Academy following my other two siblings. I wanted to follow in the footsteps which ultimately led to my desire to not be the only one without a graduation speech. I wanted to follow in the footsteps so much I almost joined robotics. Almost. All three of us have very different interests. Besides me and my brother's share love for Kaching. I'm sorry again, I do apologize for all of that. I was asked the question, what does the academy mean to me? This simple question became extremely difficult to answer as throughout multiple points during my academy time, I have wanted to leave. I wanted the more traditional high school in Plano West. 
Spoiler alert, I never left. I gave excuse after excuse of why I never went, but they were just excuses. As I stand here, finally about to leave, I am saddened our journey is coming to an end. We have gone through so much together, through online school, adapting to the new change, and my own personal growing pains, we have made it to the other end. So what does the academy mean to me? It means a unique learning environment, allowing everyone to be themselves. Nowhere else would Ultimate Frisbee and Foursquare be the sports to play, and nowhere else would Dungeons and Dragons be the common ground amongst all friends. Academy is special and has given me many experiences that I would not have had elsewhere. I have worked with both Toyota and NASA this year, which at the very least gives my grandma something to brag about to all of her thrifting friends. <laughs> I've gained skills through my time, which can most clearly be seen in the change from my first project to now. Team 51 can testify. My ability to stand here today and deliver this speech was gained through the weeks of practice presentations and the speeches delivered in the classroom. I might struggle with this new concept they're calling tests, but I'm ready for the challenge up ahead. As I look back at my time at the Academy, I am grateful for the unique experiences and opportunities that I have had, but more importantly, I'm grateful for the people who have been a part of my journey, from the teachers who have challenged and inspired me to my classmates who have become some of my closest friends, I've been fortunate enough to be surrounded by individuals who have impacted my life. As we prepare to embark on the next chapter of our lives, it's important to remember the experiences that we have had and the woo we din meals we have eaten. We may be leaving the academy, but the skills, knowledge, and memories we have gained will stay with us for the rest of our lives. I want to take a moment to thank our teachers and staff for their dedication and commitment to our education. Your hard work and support have helped us to become the individuals that we hear today. To my fellow graduates, I am proud of each one of you. We have all, all overcame challenges and obstacles to get to this point, and I do not doubt we will achieve great things in the future. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. Today, as we gather here to celebrate our journey at Academy, we reflect upon incredible opportunities, projects, and amazing experiences that we all went through together. From unexpectedly having to deal with a worldwide pandemic and doing Zoom calls from our bed, to being able to have lifelong lessons and experiences as a Titan. With a shared collective of unique experiences, we must acknowledge and appreciate the lifelong skills that we have gained that will be forever in our foundation to help us succeed in the future. This steady rate of growth has undoubtedly improved us in our personal life and business life and will forever carry us into the future as we continue to develop ourselves. The support shown by our facilitators, faculty, and staff has allowed all of this to happen. The environment that was created not only allowed us to make mistakes, but allowed us to learn and strengthen from them. This ultimately allowed all of us to grow within ourselves and to impact each other with our growth. As we stand here today, let's not forget the incredible journey that we've been on as we embark on this new chapter. We owe a depth of gratitude to our dedicated facilitators. We are grateful for our parents' constant support whose love and encouragement have served us a solid foundation for us. And most importantly, we owe it to ourselves for the countless hours we poured into our work, from fancy meetings and presentations that we practiced in front of our friends to learning and collaborating with one another during math class. As my speech comes to an end, I want to tell you guys that this is, the, this is not the end of us. Our life is just about to start. We are going to be filled with new memories, challenges, and experiences that will help grow us. Everything will fall into place, as long as you're willing to take risk by stepping out of your comfort zone. To my family, hi. Thank you for everything. 
Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your gentleness. I will now speak Arabic to my family. Hello, Mama, Baba. كلش شكرا أشياء سوولي إلي تشغلون هواي إلي كلش شكرا أيو نور thank you so much for الشغل تونيا والوقت الوقت تونيا إلي وإن شاء الله أني سرprise you هاي speech وإن شاء الله تجيكم الشهادة الثانية وسيارات بيوت ثانيات Graduates of Academy High School, the world awaits our unique talents and perspectives. As we jump towards new adventures, let us carry and use the lessons that we have learned. The power of collaboration, flexibility, and the joy of pursuing our passions. May we forever cherish the memories that we have made. Congratulations, Class of 2023. Together, we will shape a brighter future for ourselves and many generations to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Corey and Ali, thank you so much for sharing uh, your experiences and for your heartwarming and humorous speeches to all of our graduates, thank you for making a commitment to Academy High School and for partnering with us to facilitate your high school journey. At, <laughs> we started something together four years ago and I'm so proud of you and how far you've come the work you've put in, the perseverance and grit and determination and care that you give each other. You're really special and I'm glad that we get the opportunity to celebrate you today. At the conclusion of your fourth year, you're now ready to exhibit all of the characteristics of the Academy High School portrait of a graduate, including having a sense of self, being a learner, being a collaborator, and being connected. In your time at Academy, you've been challenged to think critically, to adapt, and to overcome obstacles both academic and interpersonal. It is our sincerest desire for the learning you have experienced to catapult you into success in your next endeavors. On behalf of the Academy High School staff, we want you to know that we are proud of you we are excited to celebrate you. Congratulations on achieving this important milestone in your life. We will now share a senior class tribute video developed in partnership between a team of creative fourth year learners and the Plano ISD communications team.
class of 2023, it's Miss Henderson, the only first year facilitator left. Uh, you know that you were one of my favorite classes and I know that you will do great things going forward. Congratulations, class of 2023. You did it. Hi, class of 2023. Um, you were my first class that I taught here at the Academy and I want to wish you all the luck in the world and uh, just do good in your future endeavors. Hi, graduating class of 2023. I wanted to say congratulations and thank you again for being my very first group of learners. I know y'all are going to do great things out here and I'll always have y'all in my heart. Congratulations, class of 2023. You guys have been a spectacular class. You guys have been amazing. We've loved the conversations we've had with you. You taught me a lot about Dungeons and Dragons and how they can be applied in so many different ways. We enjoyed all of the amazing experiences we've had with you. You will be missed. Good luck in the future. Congratulations class of 2023. I don't have enough time to tell you everything, but you should know that you have absolutely been one of my favorite classes. I'm gonna miss you terribly. Please keep in touch, email us, come visit us. Don't forget to vote. Congratulations class of 2023. I could not be more proud and excited. Y'all have been an amazing, wonderful group to get to know. You've tugged at my heart in more ways than any other class I've been. I look forward to hearing about all the wonderful, amazing things that you do that Academy is prepared you for. Please stay in touch. Congratulations, class of 2023. I have loved getting to know you all and supporting your learning this year. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hi, seniors, class of 2023. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, you've made it through four years. Thank you for leaving a lasting legacy and for partnering uh, with us on helping to make Academy amazing. I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to see what you do next. Thank you again to the class of 2023 seniors and the Plano ISD communications team for memorializing special academy memories shared over the last four years. At this time, please welcome to the stage the class of 2023 salutatorian, Sam Pfeiffer. Hello, I'm Sam Pfeiffer, and I want to thank you all for coming to the Plano Academy graduation for the 2022 or 2023 class. Our class, like many others, had to juggle difficulties of high school and a global pandemic. Think about it. On one hand, we experienced two years of awkwardly navigating the distance between each other and the concerns brought by COVID, and on the other hand, we adapted to our new reality, and in doing so, we overcame a significant historical event. Being learners at a school as unique as ours meant that we had to think about our high school journey differently. We didn't get the same traditional experiences as other high school students. Our sports didn't look like football. Instead, we had ultimate frisbee. We had different extracurricular, extra <laughs> curricular activities. Our courses were integrated into projects, and our unconventional learning spaces are just a few of the things that the academy does differently. If there's one thing that helped us get through with the tough times, it's the amazing facilitators we had along the way. One thing they all had in common was their relationship with their students. They all made class fun. And I find doing assignments for facilitators I like to be much less laborious. They found ways to make lessons personalized to the class and made them interactive and memorable. There are a few facilitators who personally made a huge impact on my experience here, and I know many of you feel the same. I would like to thank the entire fourth year team for sticking with us, with us as well uh, as we finalized our high school journey. Last but not least, we could not finish without mentioning our beloved facilitators who traveled with us for all four years. If everyone would please give a huge round of applause to the best substitute teacher we could have asked for, Mr. Page. Yeah. 
We were so lucky to have a group of facilitators who truly uh, cared about us and the school, and we were able to look up to them. Everyone had a favorite project, and for me, it was League of Our Own. Being able to design, build, and compete with catapults, ballista, and trebuchets isn't something many high schoolers get the opportunity to do. Also, many of us took the advantage of other opportunities the school provided, such as NASA Hunch, robotics, and summer internships to get a foot in the door for our next steps in life. We all had our ups and downs, but now it's time for us to move on and explore what else life has to offer us. I wish luck to all those continuing their academic pursuits in college and hope those going straight into the workforce find a passion they can continue chasing for life. Thank you and good luck, Titans. Thank you, Sam. I'm proud to share that all Academy High School seniors are graduating on the Distinguished Graduation Plan with both the multidisciplinary and STEM endorsements. Please look at the program to see the distinction of some of our outstanding seniors graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. We also have seniors wearing special cords from various organizations of which they have been an active part over the last four years. Okay, seniors, now, what you have all been waiting for. Dr. Williams and members of the Plano Independent School District Board of Trustees, it is my honor to announce that the learners seated before you have met all state and local requirements to participate in this ceremony as prescribed by the Plano Independent School District Board of Trustees and the Texas Education Agency. I now hereby declare each graduate worthy of the high school diploma from Plano ISD Academy High School. It is my honor to welcome you to the stage to be recognized for your achievement. The introduction of our graduates will be made by Julia Goodwin, third year science facilitator, the presentation of diplomas will be made by the 2022-2023 Board of Trustees. Academy High School Counselors, Robin Fletcher and Carlos Rios, Plano ISD Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Teresa Williams. Plano ISD Academy High Schools 2023, graduating class when your name is called. Please come forward to receive your diploma. Kevin Abad Martinez. <laughs> Ali Leith Hussam Al Rubai. <laughs> Ian James Armijo. David Zayev Aviram. <laughs> Alan Behar. <laughs> Adam Christopher Ben David. Kyle Delois Briggs. Darcy Ann Daggett. Madeline Hope.
Davidson. Natalie Star Davila. Michaela Joy Damasio. Ethan Scott Driggs. Kenneth Joe Durant. Morgan Kyle Farrell. Samuel James Pfeiffer. Robert Caden Glatz. <laughs> Ruby May Glasner. Natalie Abigail Gomez. <laughs> Sofia Esperanza Guia Badillo. Ryan Preston Guthrie. <laughs> Ian Michael Hadley. <laughs> Aiden Michael Haas. Aiden Van Hecker. <laughs> Sophia Macias Heen. <laughs> Lucas Alexander Herrera. Parker Thomas Hill. <laughs> Lee Edward Hoover. <laughs> Michael William Hutton. <laughs> Jaslyn Mariah Jonay Jack. Mallory Suzanne Jameson. <laughs> Lorenzo Jaramillo. <laughs> Jaden 
Nicole Elizabeth Johnson. <laughs> Aiden Ray Jones. Benjamin Dominic Kellmeyer. <laughs> Ethan James Kilgard. <laughs> William Matthew Klopman. Liana Ellen Kraus. Jaira Saire Ramos Lagman. Peyton Alexander Leesk. <laughs> Daniel Hajun Lee. <laughs> Donovan Adris Lee. Brian and Anibal Linares. <laughs> Haley Kate Lai. <laughs> Ethan Wayne Mansfield. Alyssa Marie Martinez. <laughs> Tabor Royce Menard. <laughs> Jonathan Abram Mooney. Reese Reagan Moore. Yeah. Alicia Nadim. Yeah. Benjamin Irving Nelson. Christopher Isaac Lee Newton. <laughs> Francis Min Tuan Win. <laughs> Megan Mai Fung. Alexia Hope Ainian Petrosic. <laughs> Leah Corey Prohaska. Major Evans Pruitt. Sophia Jane Pryor.
Anisha Farzana Razak. Samantha Eileen Rethmeyer. Ahmad Bashar Rafai. Alana Farah Rose. James Douglas Rumery. David Lucio Sanchez. Kaya Rose Sawyer. Lucas Simon Seitz. Zach Thomas Sinetti. Ruben Azael Serrano. Connor Reagan Smith. Aliyah Gita Soul. William Gregory Steen. Holden Miller Stone. Sarah Morgan Sukenik. Abdullah Hassan Syed. Corey Herman Tatel. <laughs> Preston James Tendall. Emily Yi Ni Vo. <laughs> Sharice Lina Walton. Connor Allen White. Nathan James Whiteman. Jaden Camille Wilson. Brian Mark Winandy. Colin Siu Wong. <laughs> Kathan Wan.
graduates, congratulations again. Thank you for everything that you have done for our campus and for the legacy that you leave. I would now like to introduce the Academy High School Class of 2023 Valedictorian, Benjamin Kellmeyer. The Academy was a once in a lifetime opportunity to forge our path through projects that challenged us to think deeply, to understand and simplify complexity, and to work together around shifting deadlines and surprising opportunities to succeed. The day we all chose the Academy, we forged a path that brought us together. Unforgettable teammates and friends amazing teachers, and a community that genuinely sought freedom and opportunity to learn despite the difficulty. So many amazing people have aided our learning, guiding and preparing us for the next step in our lives with their insightful instruction, effort, and advice. The people that kept our learning space clean, the teachers who worked together to create unique and challenging projects, and the administration that organized everything we all invaluable people whose influence will affect us in small and large ways every single day from now on. That's because, through their efforts, we achieved amazing things. From the League of Rome competition, probably the only time any academy student went to a sports stadium, to the Kaching market, run on calling Wong's coding expertise, to a captivating museum with exhibits like Mallory Jameson's incredible artwork display and Aaliyah Soul's inventive clay creature landscape, and so much more. We proved that we are stronger than the challenges that surround us, and that we can succeed beyond all expectations. We only achieved such amazing things through the unbeatable friendships we forged. There was always another challenge, whether it was project deadlines, schedule chaos, or even just math class but we succeeded together as we will in the future by building a strong network of support united toward a common goal. Just as the Academy did for us, we should create communities for ourselves and for others, focusing on improvement, first of the self and then of the world around us. To create strong communities, we must first be strong ourselves. We must overcome our weaknesses. But in the face of such a task, how can you even start? It's, tempt it's tempting to focus on short-term enjoyment and ignore duties, putting them off and focusing on trivialities to avoid the major problem, but that eventually crumbles and you become dissatisfied and feel even more lost and frustrated. So don't settle for yourself as who you are and where you're at and blame the world around you for your situation. Recognize your duties and the flaws that hold you back and work to make yourself better. That's how you improve your situation and prepare yourself to create an amazing community like the Academy. That sounds incredible, right? But actually getting there is daunting. When I needed to apply to college, a complex and confusing process, I had to start working on something, even though the task seemed insurmountable. So I started with something seemingly insignificant just logging into Common App to see my options. And the next day, I spent a few minutes filling out the profile, and I kept working on it, task by tiny task, one day at a time, until, eventually, it all came together. So here's my suggestion. Greet one new person. Create one artwork. Work for five minutes on something you've been putting off. It doesn't matter what the step is or how tiny it seems, as long as it starts the journey to improve one of your flaws. The next steps come easier after the first one. It's starting that taunts us all. And this is no small thing. Improving yourself by willingly accepting responsibility is where you find the meaning of life, where you can look back on each day and know you improved yourself, pushed your boundaries, made the day meaningful, and are doing something important with your life, achieving something in the limited time you have. You won't just change yourself. You'll change the world around you 
by inspiring others to begin their own journey through self-improvement, and by building a community focused on that goal. And that's the best thing you can possibly do. Helping others start the journey will spark hope and inspiration within them, enabling them to change their lives and share that spark with even more people. And that ultimately shapes the world one spark at a time. In the words of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destined end or way, but to act that each tomorrow find us farther than today. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing, leave behind us footprints on the sands of time, footprints that perhaps another sailing o'er life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. So, with those words in mind, take one step today, no matter how small, that improves you. If you keep that up, there's no telling how great you and the world you shape will become. Pretty fortunate to have some pretty unbelievable kiddos <laughs> that had spent time with us. Um, so thank you all so much for, for what you share with us. Before we conclude our ceremony today, graduates, I would like you to stand for a moment and turn and find your loved ones. Your families are... <laughs> Your families have, <laughs> clearly your families are proud of you, graduates. Your families have encouraged and supported you for the last 18 years. Graduates, please take a minute to thank them. Thank you, graduates. You may be seated. I'd also like to thank um, our families. We're so fortunate to have support and um, just anything that we need. You've been there. You've been encouraging. You've understood. And that is such, such, such a special thing for our community. And I am so grateful for you and for your learners. So thank you for partnering with us. Okay, guys. Graduates, there is one more tradition that symbolizes you moving from learner to graduate, which is turning your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Academy High School, class of 2023, please go ahead and do that now. Congratulations, class of 2023. As we conclude our ceremony, we ask that all audience members please remain seated during the recessional. Academy High School staff and class of 2023 graduates will exit the auditorium first. All learners need to pick up their graduation envelope before they leave and then meet their guests outside of the auditorium. Congratulations, class of 2023. You may throw your cap.